What's up guys, welcome back to Rugged Adventures. Super happy to have you guys here. Today, I have probably one of the most controversial caliber versus caliber thing, and that is 45 ACP versus the nine millimeter. And for you guys out there, this is probably your grandfather, even your great grandfather's gun. And this one is probably your father's or maybe even your grandfather's gun. You know, these young kids these days have even more calibers to choose from that I'm sure that we'll fight about in the future. But the nine millimeter versus 45 is a major uh, topic of discussion. Everyone's got their opinions on it. Everyone has myths and truths about it. And so we're gonna look at some of those today and about what these things can do, how much they can punch through, the power that they have, and really to go over the biggest differences between each of them because you can get a 45 that looks like this. You can get a nine millimeter that looks like this. You can pretty much get them in any shape, size, or form, but this is sort of the classic 45 in the 1911. One of the biggest differences between both of these calibers is just the size of the bullets. This is a nine millimeter, obviously, 45. Uh, this 9mm is much smaller than this 45 ACP, and it goes much faster than this 45 ACP in just your normal conditions. And this is pretty normal ammo. This is, uh, we have uh, 124 grain 9mm and uh, 230 grain 45 here. And so when you have a pistol that has a magwell that's, you know, only of a certain size, you can only fit a certain amount of ammo in each given pistol. So, for example, the 1911 typically holds eight in a single stack box mag like this, whereas a Glock 19, a, a PSA dagger like we have here, uh, will hold somewhere in the range of 15, maybe even 17. You can even get extended magazines down to 33 rounds. And so you end up getting a lot more shots out of the 9mm. Now there is a widespread belief that 45 hits harder, that it has more energy. But when you look at the ballistics of it online, of the typical rounds, the 230 grain uh, 45 and the, the 124 grain 9 millimeter, you're going to find that they actually have very similar energy levels as far as muzzle energy, which, you know, downrange that can be different based on a whole lot of different factors. That's why I always like to just use right out of the muzzle. But the... Uh, the 9mm is actually going to go about 1150 feet per second and have 364 feet pounds of energy, whereas the 45 is only going to go about 835 feet per second and have 356 feet pounds of energy, making it actually about 8 feet pounds less than the 9mm, which may be hard for some of you guys to believe. You might cause some arguments in the comments down below, so go ahead and argue in the comments. Uh, but the difference is, is that with those approximately the same amounts of energy level, they're coming in uh, a bullet this size. So when this one hits, it's it dispersing all of that energy in a much smaller area, which might mean it punches through softer targets or thinner targets, whereas this 45, when it hits, has a lot more frontal energy and it's going to be able to dissipate that into the target a lot more efficiently. Also, this one is uh, subsonic by just by nature, so that makes it really fun to shoot out of suppressed guns, whereas this one is typically supersonic, although sometimes you'll get super or sub depending on the load or what uh, how long the barrel is. So let's get right to testing them about all of these things that these uh, can go through. I have a lot of fun targets today, so let's get right in to it after you guys subscribe because we are nearly at 5,000 subscribers. First up, we'll see what these things do to just hanging stationary targets that they're probably not going to go through. Actually, I know that they're not going to go through those. With them having the same amount of energy, I'm going to suspect that we're going to get the same amount of movement. This is kind of just a subjective test, but uh, we'll look at the slow-mo afterwards and, you know, kind of make our determinations on that. First up is the PSA Dagger 9mm. A decent amount of movement there. Um, not crazy like if we would have hit it with a rifle or something, but uh, after that, the Rock Island Armory, 1911 in 45. Whew, that one actually had quite a bit of movement to it and blew the chain off of the thing. So I'm not sure if the 45 really did have that much more impact power than the 9mm or if just my crap welds broke or if it got a better angle on the target but there is probably a decent chance that that much bigger bullet put more of that energy into the target and maybe the 9mm just uh, exploded and fragmented before it could expend all of its energy into the target. I don't know. I'm not running a science lab here. This is mainly 
all for fun. But for this next test, we're going to see which one is going to do more damage at a point blank range. We got the nine millimeter here, the 45 over here, and I'm gonna guess that the 45 is gonna be able to put more of that energy into one of these pineapples, but there's only one way to find out. So we've got the, the one here on the right with the nine millimeter, point blank. <clears throat> And it went straight through that thing, hardly without even moving it. Let's take a look at what the backside looks like. And yeah, it was straight in on this side, straight out on this side, if I can keep the shadow off of it. It's still uh, pretty solid. There's, you know, it, it really didn't do too terribly much to it. Let's check it out with the 45 on the one on the left. Again, this is point blank and we'll see what happens. I can already tell that did a little bit more damage without looking at it, but let's take a look. So we've got our entrance, I think it's there. Yes, the entrance is on this side, trying to keep out of the shadow here, and the exit is on this side so you can see that the 45 with that much bigger bullet than the nine millimeter has and actually going slower may be an advantage to it as well because it spends more time in the target expending that energy but for sure the 45 definitely did more damage at a point blank range than the nine millimeter now I can say without hesitation that soda pop or Coke or soft drink, whatever you call it where you're from, is some of the worst thing for you. It's it's terrible. I mean, it's, all, it's liquid candy and it is awful. It gives people diabetes all the time. But what I'm gonna do today is see how many of these soda pop cans of the highest quality Walmart varieties that each one of these pistols is going to be able to shoot through. We got uh, 12 set up here. Of course, one rolled through and blew up before I could do the test. We're going to try to shoot directly through them and compare how many each one of these calibers can get through. Here we go. Before I get a sticky mess all over myself. God, that was terrible. <laughs> I did get covered in soda pop. So as you guys can see here, the nine millimeter made it through 10 cans before it stopped. Uh, these two were just shifted to the side. I always find it kind of funny the way things end up when you shoot them, just how things lay out. But uh, there's really no way for me to tell which ones it went in first, which ones it came out of, because there are just soda cans and uh, soft drink everywhere, including on me. So we should probably speed up the rest of this video before the bees find out about it. Sticky and sweet. Here we go. It's just Coca-Cola right in your face. The 9mm hit uh, 10 of them, leaving us only 2. The 45 only was able to get through 8, leaving 4 remaining. Again, I uh, you know, chalked that up to the fact that the 45 has a much bigger surface area for uh, when, it, when it hits. So it, it puts more of its energy into the target uh, more efficiently. And it's also moving slower. So you know, as it gets bogged down, it starts slowing down even further. So for this test going through cans of soda pop or cola or whatever the heck that you call them, wherever you're from, I have to give this one to the 9mm, whereas the 45 won the first two. In this case, the velocity and the size of the round uh, was able to edge out the uh, winner of back-to-back -back world wars. So next up, we've got our wooden block test that we've done you know, multiple, multiple times. And again, I do think that the advantage here is going to be to the nine millimeter with its smaller projectile and higher speed. I think it's gonna get more penetration on this. Uh, what's funny is that Dum Dum Face here didn't bring a power drill. So we're gonna be taking this thing apart with a screwdriver. So you won't notice the time difference, but I sure will. So here we go, nine millimeter first, and we put tape over holes that we've previously shot with rifles and such. So we'll put this nine millimeter right there, right next to the screw. And the 45, we'll try to put a little lower. 
and we put that one right in the center. So let's go down, see how far each one went through. Maybe I'll be surprised. So this played out almost exactly like I thought that it would in that the 45 didn't travel as far as the nine millimeter, but let's take a look here. First off, you can see the difference in the hole if I can get the shadow off of it. That's the 45 entrance. This is the nine millimeter entrance. Those are the screw holes and these are our previous hits right there. So when we start flipping back the layers here, which like I said, thank God they didn't go too far because this is as many uh, two and a half inch screws that I've hand done in as long as I can remember. It's only eight, I think. But we come through the first layer. Uh, they're still trucking along nicely. That's your 45. That's your nine millimeter. That's the screw hole right there. When we get into the third layer here, that's that's it for the 45. It is right down in there. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that on camera, the metallic -y, uh, back part of that lead. So it made it through approximately three, three, maybe three and a quarter, three and a half inches of uh, wood. And this is just typical uh, two by 12 pine. And we get in here to the fourth layer, and that is where the nine millimeter stops and it is almost through that fourth layer i don't i can never tell if you're going to be able to see that on camera but it has gone through at least about five inches of wood being that it's almost through the other side and again you know we don't see it here it's not coming out the back side of this one and so in this particular instance the nine millimeter has again come up the victor probably because it has that much smaller area so it is able to penetrate farther into targets it's moving at you know about two to three hundred feet per second more and so when we are looking at the nine millimeter versus the 45 they have pretty much tied today the 45 has won two of them the uh, nine millimeter has won two of them the nine millimeter really excelled on ones where it needed to punch through stuff but when you get into uh you know other st uh, stuff like how many rounds you can hold and such the nine millimeter is generally going to hold more rounds than the 45 it's one of the reasons that the military went away from the 1911 to the m9 beretta and uh it, it there's there's a lot of uh, you know arguments on that is it better or is it not in my opinion if you can get a hit on somebody uh you know that's where you want to be and so if you have 15 versus 8 that does give you eight more try or uh what is it seven more tries um if you're in a panic situation where you're shooting at people so guys i know that there's going to be some comments there's going to be some fighting leave them down below in the comments try to keep things civil you know you start making personal attacks on people i do ban you from the channel because we're all here just to have fun now this is serious i'm not running a science lab down here guys as you can see this is just all for fun if you guys like this hit that like button for me subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed yet so we can pump this channel way up i appreciate you guys watching today and i'll see you on the next one so yeah i think that went pretty good yeah i, I liked all the things that we did and the uh the stuff that we did so uh you know i think we got a good one in a can here you're filming i said this was bad <laughs>